Barking is not a problem. It's a symptom of a problem. Let's talk about boredom barking. Boredom barking is just that. If we have nothing better to do, we'll find ways to get into trouble, and barking and digging are what you humans consider to be the most annoying. Here mom left Granite outside for 10 minutes with nothing to do. He's not barking excessively, but he's letting mom know he's bored. Most dogs would bark excessively in this situation. Typical behavior of boredom barking is a dog that barks at nothing at all. Notice how Granite is not alert and not looking at anything in particular when he barks. It's clear that if you give him something to do, he'll stop barking. Excited barking is among the most popular barking next to territorial barking. When we get together, we like to bark as we play. In excited barking, you'll notice that our tails are up and wagging, and we often show body language inviting humans or other dogs to play. In excited barking, you can use the spray collar as mentioned in the last episode for territorial barking. Just one thing to consider if deciding to use the spray collar for excited barking though. If your dog is playing with other dogs and the other dogs bark next to your dog, then the spray collar will give a correction, even if it wasn't your dog. Granite told me stories about that happening when he was younger. The spray collar worked through vibrations. So we can't tell if the vibration is coming from your dog or another dog. Excited barking can also be stopped if you stop the game. But don't be a party pooper all the time. Playing is good for us. Learned barking is something you taught your dog consciously or unconsciously. Mom says that most of the time it's unconsciously. A good example of unconscious learned barking is when you're sitting in front of the TV watching your favorite show. I don't know why humans do that, it's so boring. In order to get your attention, we need to bark. Here is Blue Moon barking at his mom to get her attention. When we bark, you humans tell us to stop and even touch us, sometimes pushing us away. But that's okay, because even if it was negative, we still managed to get your attention, so we were rewarded. Then the cycle starts over again. Sometimes, we've learned that asking for your help to get an object is a better way to get your attention. Here's Honeymoon asking her mom to get the ball out of the bowl for her. Exercise is the best solution to this problem, but the spray color can also be good to correct this. If at any time, if you are still having problems with barking, please contact your local certified trainer for help. Mom always says a tired dog is a good dog.